in immense universe that we're here alone in these fragile planets, it's really interesting to talk about what we have in common. And especially because astronomy is a tool, it's a really important tool for development, education, diplomacy, and outreach. And in that sense, it can really help tackling many of these, of these United Nations, the, the sustainable de development goals that are defined by United Nations. There are many examples about it. And this is really at the, at the core of the actions of the International Astronomical Union, especially during the last decade, the, the International Astronomical Union has, has opened offices for using, for using astronomy for development, there is one in South Africa, for instance, for using also astronomy for outreach, to reach out to, to everyone. And there will be a new office soon that it's, uh, will be the astronomy, the, the, the office for education. It will be open soon, it will be announced soon when it will be. And it will be, I think, a lot of opportunities for training for, and also for uh, developing resources, interacting with teachers around the world. So stay tuned, and, and I hope maybe in the next science on stage there will be a stand, hopefully, of this, uh, of this office. So, giving you this, this context, I will just talk about the, the celebration. During 2019, the IAU has, uh, was uh, the IAU's birthday, and we wanted to make a special celebration of astronomy. Not about the IAU, because the IAU is, is great, but maybe no one cares that much about the organization. But, as, but we wanted to celebrate astronomy, especially the past century of astronomical discovery. There have been a lot of things happening during the last century, and we wanted to celebrate that. And the motto of this celebration is under one sky, just to give this feeling that I, that I was talking about of joining, joining us together. So you have the website there. So if you are interested, if you didn't know about it, you can really see what's, what's going on. And here is a, an overview. Here is an overview of the things that, that we have done so far. Uh, so there have been over more than 4,000 activities around the world in 134 34 countries. Uh, what was interesting about this is that most of the activity has been done by people that are not part of the IIU. So there were a lot of people uh, amateur astronomers, people that love astronomy, teachers that have joined the, the celebration, and that's, I think that's the thing I'm most proud, proud about it. We have done different activities. We have celebrated the 50th anniversary of, of the moon landing this summer. We have done, we have now a really interesting project about naming a planet and a star in, in 110 countries. I don't know if you, you have heard about this, of this competition. There are many countries that are organizing that, and you can vote to give a name to, to your own planet and a star. There have been different, different types of activities. I'm going to talk briefly about four or five different actions that are related <coughs> to education, also to teachers. So the first one is the Einstein School. It's a, this is a program that uses uh, gravity, but, sorry, that it's, it's, it's uh, aimed to learn and communicate about gravity in astronomy. We had an important anniversary also this year. In May, there was this the 100th anniversary of the eclipse, the solar eclipse, that proved that Einstein was right with uh, general relativity. So there, was, there were many, many activities around the world. There was one organized by, by Nucleo, in, in principle, uh, about this anniversary of the Eddington uh, observations. And we, the, in, during the celebration, we, we have this program that has been uh, there are 200 schools in 14 countries enrolled, and, and the idea is that they get creative, talk about gravity, and then also uh, discuss during the within the collaboration. There is also opportunities for for getting mentors for the schools participating, astronomers that can help in the activities, and also access to robotic telescopes. Uh, you can still join the program if you want. So that's the website, and then you can find the, the information. Another big, big activity is the Open Astronomy Schools it's, that's been uh, uh, coordinated by, by Nucleo, by Rosa, by Doctora, by Gustavo Rojas. And in this, in this project, uh, it's based on, it's, it's has been done on the Galileo Digital Training Network, but also on the Open Schools for Open Societies project. And within this uh, uh, project, we have funded uh, 20 teacher training worldwide and there have been other people that have joined without the funding from, from the IAU but they have joined, joined the program. 
And it's, there are, it's really interesting if you go to the website to learn about the project, know about the philosophy, maybe you want to, go to, the, to organize any, any of this uh, teacher training in your, in your region. Yes. I would like also to point you to this document that, that was uh, released this year. It's called Big Ideas in Astronomy. It's an astronomy booklet that presents 11 big ideas in astronomy. It's, it's really, it's, it's aimed to, to present this document. It's sort of a, also a, like a policy document that can be used to approach policy makers to, to try to get also astronomy in the curriculum. But it's really interesting to, to look at it because it has, I think, everything that you need to know uh, about astronomy, it really condensed and really ready to, for instance, to, to, to start uh, teaching a con concepts in your classroom. So it's in the IAU website. I don't have the, the complete URL because it's like huge, but you can go, go there and try to find it. It's, it's like a sort document and you can really, really see everything that's what's going on in astronomy that is important. Uh, we have a, a really nice well, exhibition. You have the, the poster version downstairs and it's, it's called Above and Beyond. It's, it shows, it depicts the past century of fascinating astronomical discoveries. It was really fun to develop it because we could really, it was hard but it was really fun because we could really see that a lot happened during this century. So we have this, the sets of posters that, that are downstairs. Uh, I have in Lyon, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, still 50 sets. So they are, the, I think they are really cool for, for, for using in, in events like this, and also, but also it could be used in, in the schools. So if you're interested, tell, tell me and we can send you, we can send you, we can send you a set. Also, all the materials are online, they are open source, they can be used if, even for classrooms. So I, if, if you're interested, you can go to the website, download them, and then talk about interesting science in the past century. There is another pro a program that I was coordinated from Leiden Observatory, where I work from the group, where I work, and it's a, a, a program about space that, that it, it, it fosters young and creative inclusive space community. There are many, many, many resources for, for teachers. It builds up on previous projects. There are activities, there, are, there, are, there will be uh, summer schools, there, will, there are massive online open courses. So it's also a, a great, platform where you can uh, get many resources about space and especially use them and talk in, in, the, in a diverse, in a diverse uh, way. So I, I have the website there, Space EU. So if you're interested, go there and you can get a lot of resources to talk about space and it, they have activities from, for four-year-olds to 18, 18 years of the year, year olds as well. And finally, this is, this is going to be a, a new project. So it's called Astronomy Day in Schools. We wanted to make a final big splash of activities around the world. And the main idea is supposed to, to get astronomers out of the, their seats and go to schools, organize activities, but also it's really interesting, it, it's really an interesting opportunity also for, for you if you want to organize an activity with people around the world, at the same time as, as people around the world. On Monday, 11 November, 11 November, there will be a transit of Mercury, so that, that means that the planet Mercury will pass in front of the Sun, so if, if it, it can, it's really interesting if you can observe it with a telescope and with filters always, never look at the Sun directly, you get blank, but it's really an opportunity to join people around the world and do something that something together. So that's the website. There, there is a lot of resources for doing activities. I know people here that, that I talk about Ivo will do <laughs> activities in, in Bulgaria. So if anyone is, is interested, want to know more, I'll be around so we can talk a, a bit. But there are many many resources to to organize activities. So I just want to, to finish with this. I want to, to, to tell you that to, to keep the good work, I, I, I want to echo Rosa's words saying that you have the most important profession in the world. It's, I guess it's really fulfilling to wake up every morning knowing that you can have an impact in the future of everyone. 
So I would like to thank you for your efforts. I, I don't have a table to, to stand up and, and thank you, like in the movie, that's for society. But uh, thank you, and, and it's really impressive, impressive what, what are you doing. Thank you.